Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader and explorer. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of USD, JPY, US dollar, Japanese yen. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, then please subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis and do check out the Forex analysis playlist on my YouTube channel for the analysis of other pairs like Euro USD, GBP USD, Gold USD, GBP JPY and many more. So let's get started. So this is the Forex sentiment meter and here is our USD JPY here. As you can see that 80% retail traders have taken short position and only 19% retail traders have taken long position. So 80% retail traders thought or thinking that market be going down whereas only 19% were thinking or thought that market would be going up and this is the average price here you can see that most of the retail traders have shot the market at triple one 111.17 and right now market is trading at 113.47 so 80 percent retail traders are in loss right now and as we all know 90 percent retail traders lose money because they fail to follow the trend of the market and you can see here also so let's try to understand what is going on in the chart of USDJPY and what are the best trading opportunities for us so this is the four hour chart of USDJPY in front of us right now and as you can see that I have added a trend line here because I saw that this trend line is acting as a dynamic support for the market and you can also clearly see that whenever market has come down this trend line has provided the required support to the market so therefore we have a dynamic support in the form of this trend line so my dear friends if you do not have this trend line on your chart then please draw this line because you can see that this is a valid support for the market and market has also closed at just at the point here so this is quite interesting here and the trend of the market is still towards the upside yes there is some selling right now going on in the chart of usdjpy but if we just observe the present trend or, or the overall trend of usdjpy then we can clearly see that the trend of the market is still towards the upside so it clearly signifies the presence of buyers in the market as well so we do not still we do not have a trend reversal here because for a trend reversal we need to have an inverted v pattern yes for a trend reversal we need to have an inverted v pattern and we still do not have that so therefore we will still consider this as an uptrend market only so the first trading opportunity on USDJPY chart is the present uh, position of the market here 113.50 113.50 or the current market price because this is also the Fibonacci 23.6 percent retracement level generally in a market condition like this generally we see that 23.6 uh, percent retracement level is not doesn't act very strong but here we have the additional support from the trend line so here we have the trend line as well as the Fibonacci retracement level so on Monday there is a possibility of market bouncing from here so if market bounces from the current market position then you can think about buying on the USDJPY yes you can think about buying at the present market condition and just make sure that you are using stop loss and your stop loss will be just below the trend line and do not risk more than two to three percent of your trading capital because see this is my analysis i can be wrong as well so being a trader it is your duty to protect your hard and capital so if market bounces from the present uh, market price present market position we can go for buy that is the first trading opportunity and on the other hand if market breaks the support okay if market breaks the support and starts coming down then don't do anything just wait for the market to come down and reach the weekly support level of 112.40 yes 112.40 is the weekly support level and therefore there is a good possibility of market bouncing from this level as well so if market bounces from the from the trend line fibonacci retracement level you can go for buy that is your first running opportunity and on the other hand if market breaks the level starts coming down do not short the market okay 
just wait for the market to bounce from the weekly support of 112.40 if market bounces you can go for buy that is your second trading opportunity these are the two trading opportunities that i see on the chart of usd jpy chart right now and my dear friends this is the pro trader program where i share the best trading opportunities in the market if you want to know more about it just go to the pro trader section on my website avilashazarika.com you'll find all the information here and just download the sample and just see what kind of trades i share so bye bye take care see you on monday